Hi, I'm Ryan Lightfoot-Brown. We're joined today by Alistair Mundy, manager of the Investec UK Special Situations and Cautious Managed Fund. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Now, you are famously a contrarian investor. Can you explain to us very quickly what that is? Yes, I always describe contrarian investing as looking in other people's dustbins for our buy ideas. Um, so we're looking for stuff that other people have thrown away, they've given up on it, they don't think it's worth their time, they think it's too too complicated, they think just think it's a load of rubbish. Um, and we and we get, delve into that dustbin in the hope that they've thrown away something by accident. We don't buy everything on purpose, we're just looking for the ones that have been accidentally placed in that bin. And that really is the nature of contrarian investing, what's most out of favour that might have some great future. And what is a contrarian investment today? Um, perhaps a good example of a contrarian investment today is, is our short position in the S&P 500. We believe that US equities are overvalued and therefore the market is going down. So our short position is, is, is a position that um, benefits if the market goes down. We make money if the market goes down, we lose money if the market goes up. At the moment, everything's fine. The US economy is doing very well. Um, Trump's um, policies are having a positive effect on the economy, but we still think the most important thing is valuations are very high. It's an uncomfortable position to have and because while markets are going up, but that's the fun or the challenge of being a contrarian investor. Um, and how are you positioned in the uh, Investec UK Special Situations Fund and also in the Investec Cautious Managed Fund? On the um, Special Sits Fund, we've really buy, been buying more exposure to the UK economy. Not because we think um, that Brexit is necessarily going to be good, um, but because uh, other investors are perhaps worrying about the state of the UK economy and the state of it post-Brexit. And that means stocks are falling out of favour and, and, and becoming very cheap, and we're taking those opportunities. I always say we don't go looking for a fight. Fights come and find us. And, and at the moment, some stocks are already discounting a tough Brexit, which I think perhaps to take the emotion out of the word Brexit is those stocks are discounting quite a, quite a meaningful recession. And we look through that recession, we look for through the cycle earnings, how much can this company make on average? Um, and we think those companies are trading very cheap to those through the, the cycle earnings. So do you think we're now in a cycle of short-term interest rates increasing, made with the UK going up? around now? Yes, it's amazing. If, if you'd have told people uh, 10 years ago that interest rates would be where they are today, I, I don't think anyone would have believed you. Um, so perhaps we should be careful forecasting anything like that. But I think in general, um, while we may see a few interest rate increases from these levels at the, at the short end, I think it's going to be very hard um, without significant inflation for, for the Bank of England to find reason to push interest rates up. We're more concerned about the longer end of the yield curve um, because we, we worry that ultimately inflation will come back and that will be reflected in, in long-term government bond yields and with that background we think it will be a very different background for asset classes um, equities have performed very well off the back of very low interest rates and it'll be interesting to see if they can perform just as well if long-term interest rates start rising. That's brilliant Alistair thank you very much for coming in. Good to see you thank you.